Welcome! I've been looking forward to this game, and it finally went on sale on Steam. Let's get right to it. Do you like 2D 8-bit adventures like Mega Man, the early Castlevanias, and heck, even Zelda? Well, have I got a game for you. For all those that, old, that love original Nintendo, you may want to pick this up. Okay, there's no space button. What happens if I hit space on the keyboard? Does that actually do anything? Otherwise, I'll have to use underscore. Okay, the space bar actually just selects whatever you're currently highlighting over, and it changes the interface. I guess if people actually want to use keyboard for this game, they can. Which is good, so controller and keyboard are both usable. Probably does WASD on the keyboard. But I'll keep my controller. And it switches over quite rapidly, so that's a good decision on the programmer that did the interface. Let's get to it. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a, a life of solitude. But without champions, the lamb was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her order of no quarter. You have no quarter, you cannot enjoy the arcade. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin! Get digging! Okay, what button does what? That jumps. That hits on the ground. That also hits on the ground. That appears to do nothing. If I hold down and then I do my shovel thrust down. Interesting. It swings forward first before doing the downward stab. That's not good. Oh, actually, if I just hold down, it does it. Okay. So I just need to jump and hit down to do what I want to do. If I hit the button, I can swing, so I can actually cancel out of it. That's good. And I guess there is a crouch, but really, t t t it's not very effective. Do any of the shoulder buttons I have in this controller do anything? Nope. Select lets you change items, that's good. Gear and relics. Stalwalt plate, your original simple but sturdy armor. That's good. So you can change items on the fly. How do I get out of this menu? Just hit select again? Yep. And start is the main menu, and it stops the music. That's sad. Okay. So just hold down to kill things, and swipe like that. Let's go looting. This game has lots of treasure. Lots and lots of treasure. Alright, I definitely have to hold down in order to use it. Ooh, I can kill two things at once. That's good. Must have all the treasure. Hang on a second. Okay, I thought maybe that was like a cracked wall that I could go through, but I guess not. Hang on a second. I just thought of something. What happens if I go left at the start? What happens if I go left instead of right? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can get up on that thing. I probably gotta get up there from the here. Okay.
Let's start moving though. This is this is really the game that'd be really fun to speed run. Yeah, I can't go through those things. Yeah, I'll bounce off of you, don't I? Yep. And that is the checkpoint thing, but I don't think I can destroy these ones in this level. Nope. Gotcha. That's probably gonna disappear by the time I get there, isn't it? Please don't. Oh no, it's sparkling, and I'm not gonna get there. Wait a minute. It feels like I'm forgetting something. No, I guess not. That bug almost got me with the way I was standing there. I'm guessing falling on spikes kills you. As well, it should. Though it might not be that way in the options, I might be able to choose difficulty and decide if spikes kill me. Well, I'm going to go on the assumption that they do until I learn otherwise. That way I'm safer. Later, dragon! Woo! Lots of stuff. Okay. Oh, that hurts you. That's good. Good to know. Okay, I can't swing at things when I'm actually going downwards. Or at least swing into things. So anything with that little knot mark I can break into. Good to know. Well, actually, it doesn't have to be that knot mark, and I didn't see you coming. Whee! Well, that's not suspicious at all over there. Interesting. He moved me back even though he didn't hit me. Okay, but uh, it doesn't matter. I was thinking maybe I could use that for a long distance shot, the bug there, but it's not going that far. And we have a music note? Alrighty. I see you there. Okay, what do you do? Alright. If you there, I thought you were a projectile like rock. I could maybe take over here and kill the beetle with, but oh well. Okay. Well, I can hit the buttons at the same time and swing at things faster. That's good. I love how my controller set up like that. How do I get you? Seems I'm not tall enough. I was probably supposed to pogo off of that guy, wasn't I? Oh well, can't do that now. Perhaps I can jump a long distance, maybe? Run and jump, maybe? That's not gonna happen. Oh well. You know, I probably should have tried to pogo off one of these things. Oh well. It's only one gem, so it's not a great deal. Yeah, definitely, if I hit things while I'm on the ground, I get knocked back. I don't like knockback. That's something I would like to avoid doing. Getting knocked back. So if I get the chance to do that, I'm doing it. The weapon that avoids knockback is what definitely what I want in this game. Or maybe there's an armor that does that. I'm trying to remember what I saw in those videos. Oh well. It's probably better I forget that way. It's more fun experience. More of an original experience. You know what? I bet I can go left here. Nope. I guess I'm wrong. I see that little trick there. Alright, this is going to require a lot of pogoing. Pogoing with the shovel. It's like I'm in Team Fortress. How do I get back? Alright, good. They do indeed reappear. For a brief moment there, I thought they did not. I play games to relax. I don't play games to think. And still nothing over there. Oh my! 
Did not see you until it was too late. Hmm. Interesting. That was there without there even being a marker. Good to know. Yay. So there are some doors that I can go right through without there being markers. Or walls, I guess. I was hoping to kill him with that strike, but I guess not. Okay, he flies all the way over. And off the screen. Good to know. Didn't expect him to do that. I'm just going to duck under you. That horrible duck actually is useful. Those guys give you knockback, and had I been close to that cliff, that would have been a great problem. And they're a dragon. Alright, watch where he is, because I don't want to keep on falling through to the floor there. Ah, I lost some treasure. Lost some more. Can I grab you with the shovel? No, I can't. I have to walk into you. Yeah, I'm not... Alrighty, thank you. I wasn't going to jump over there, because I wasn't going to chance you just shoving me off, but if you're going to walk right off, be my guest. Alright, I need to go down there attacking, because those slimes are going to want to eat me. Okay, I killed all three of them with two two attacks. Interesting. Nope, I can't move that anymore. Anything that increases my downward attack would be a good ability. Now I can go left. I knew somewhere I'd be able to. That's how they used to do things in these old games. They'd hive something to the left somewhere. That's what they've hidden this time. Cause let's face it, if you live in a world where you always go right, you're gonna miss something. Mysterious checkpoint? Totally not gonna be right before a boss. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing here for you anymore! Stand aside, Black Knight! I've no quarrel with you! I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses! Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Entranches! And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand behind... between you and I... I mean, you said that. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. The way that it is just worded feels like a run-on sentence. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! Nice laugh. Alright, finally you attack you on the ground. If attacking you from the air does not do well. Yeah, especially if you're going to walk right into it. Oh, good! Don't land on me! Attacking you in the air is not a good plan either. If you're going to stand there and laugh, I'm going to hit you. Oh, my! Can I bounce that back at you? Because if so, I want to. Take that! Damn it, this is not a fight going well. Damn it. My treasure! I want that back! Did I? Oh, I didn't lose all my treasure. Give me. Give me that back. I want my stuff. I'm taking yours. Oh, what the heck? Oh, 
that was a good combo. Take that! Meeting him in the air is not a strategy you want to do. Come at me, boy. Come at me, buddy. Come at me, bro. I'm getting too aggressive. What the? Okay, I got him. I made use of my invincibility frames to hit him. I'll take it. I need to find a way to conserve health. And an ability that keeps me healthy is a good ability in any game. Because I'm way too aggressive for my own good. That makes a lot of sense. I do play as the Pyro in Team Fortress. Let's walk right in there and use Mouse 1. But then again, Air Blast is the most powerful thing as a Pyro, and that's the thing I enjoy most about it. That's why I play Pyro. Real good Pyro players actually... Nope! I need to get there! Need to use the Air Blast. I caught it, right? Damn. That's a bad dream if I ever had one. Can I hit the log? No, I can't. Can I hit you? I can! Feat accomplished. Only you. Only you can protect forest fires, kids. Can prevent forest fires.